Hi. With this movie we will show you, how to use the data caching options, integrated in AppConnect state management, in order to cache your dynamic data, into the browser's local storage. We created a server action, with a query, which returns large amount of data. Open the AppConnect panel, and add AppConnect to your page. Then, add new component. Under State Management, select Local Storage Manager. Add a name for it. And now, add the Server Connect component. And, select your server action. Under the Data Caching option, open the State Manager menu, in order to select, where to cache the dynamic data, for the server action. And, select the local storage, which we've just created. Then, enter the time, in seconds, the data should be cached for. During this time, on every page reload, or if using paging, on changing the page, the dynamic data will be loaded, from the browser's local storage, which is much faster than querying the server. We enter 3600 seconds, which means that in the next one hour, the data will be loaded from the local storage. Then, it will be refreshed, and stored into the cache again. You can add a button, which on click, can reload the data from the server, without caching. Just select the button, and add new dynamic event, on click. Click the action picker button. And under the server connect component, select load. Enable the reload option. This way the server action, will be reloaded, and will get the new data from the server. Now, we will add the dynamic data, on the page. We will use the dynamic table generator, but you can create any repeat, or repeat children structure, in order to do that. Dynamic table generator is just an example. And we are done. Let's preview the results. You can see that initial load of the data takes about 300 milliseconds, while reloading it from the local storage cache is 15 times faster, only about 20 milliseconds. That's how easy it is, to use the data caching options, integrated in AppConnect state management.